I hear a lot of men say, it's not about the sex for me. Sex cannot keep me as a man. Sex cannot keep a man. I'm looking for a woman that has brains, a woman that can bring something to the table, a woman that can do this and that can do that. <laughs> Women, let me give you one advice. So many men are confused. They don't even know what they want. Sex is one of the most vital thing in a relationship that glues a man and a woman. Vital. That's the reason why God said, leave it for married people. Sex is where you bond. Sex is where you give. Sex is where you receive. As a woman, you must be good in bed. A lot of men have not been able to explain to you because some men are not very outspoken. Let me teach you something. You must be good in bed. Sex can hold a man down. I've told you this thing before. Because a man marries you, doesn't mean that he loves you. A lot of men did not marry you for love. They marry you because they can use you. They married you because they can control you. They married you because they can abuse you. The real women they love are the women they're having sex with. Those women that are satisfying them sexually. So as a wife, you need to sit up. Because as a relationship counselor, I've been a relationship counselor for seven years. And let me tell you something. Majority of the problem that causes marital and relationship issues is sex. It's a silent word that people don't talk about. Forget all this noise, my husband. It is sex. Learn it. The problem is a lot of us do not even know how to have sex. Most of us just grew up, we heard about sex, we want sex, but we don't know how to have sex. As a man, you must understand your woman's body. A woman's body is like a laptop. Women don't want to be fucked. Women want to be romanced. They want to feel love. They want to be nurtured. They want to be touched. They want to feel appreciated. When you start to kiss from their head to their ears, to their lips, to their boobs, to their body, it makes them feel like they're the only one in the world. Not every time you just want to penetrate. That's not sex. That's abuse. You must be able to appreciate your woman's body, honor her body. It's like entering a temple. When you're entering the temple, you, you know, remove your slippers, you honor. Sex is the major breakup in relationship and marriage. You need to learn it. Stop letting this man tell you, I didn't marry you for sex. It's not all about sex. Sex is very, very vital. Let me tell you one most important thing you have to do as a woman. Number one, as a woman, try as much as possible to marry or date someone that is expressive. If men do not tell you exactly what they want, you might not know. Sex is powerful. Communicate with your man. Baby, baby, how do you like it? Where do you want me to touch you? How do you enjoy it? Browse his body. Do a lot with your men. Men are very adventurous. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying when you do all these things, your husband will not cheat, your husband will not do that. I'm only really telling you to do your responsibility as a wife or a girlfriend. Even you yourself, you will be satisfied. Let men stop deceiving you and telling you that sex cannot keep them. Sex can keep them. A lot of men have left their beautiful homes and beautiful marriages just because of sex, just because of big yansh and big breasts. Some of you end up saying it's jazz. They just my husband. Nobody just your husband. Trust me. Sex is powerful. So I'm talking to those married women who have left themselves because there are lots of married couples who have not had sex for decades. You feel because you're married to your husband, you just leave yourself like that. It can never be overemphasized for women to take care of themselves and continue to look attractive. As you're seeing me like this now, I've changed my style. I'm on low cut. I'm looking different. I like to change my looks because I want to always feed my man's eyes. And I actually love to change my look because it builds my confidence. When I look at myself in the mirror, I know I can be this and I know I can be that. So as a beautiful woman, I'm going to keep reminding you, I'm going to keep emphasizing it. Look sexy. This sexiness does not mean you have to be having sex. When you look sexy, you look appealing. You look at yourself in the mirror and you appreciate your being. Package yourself. Women are like gifts. Let your man keep unwrapping you. It is that unwrapping that is the mystery and the sweetness. 
you know, unwrapping you, taking off your bra, taking off. That's the sweetness of sex. Please. I know we pretend a lot in this society, but I just had to say this, that please, beautiful women, sex is very powerful. Trust me, you have to learn. If you don't know, come, let me teach you. I have an office where I can teach you how to have sex. Read books, go to Google, watch movies. You're going to learn some basic things that you can even use to make yourself happy as a woman. I thought I should remind that beautiful woman that is saying, it's not all about sex. It's not all about sex, my darling. It's about sex. It's a silent word that your husband or your boyfriend might not even tell you. I'm telling you as a certified relationship counselor and as a woman, you can keep him out with sex. Learn it. Mm? Ban the shit out of that man. Give him something to always look at. We call it a shallow vibes. <laughs>